In today's video, we are going to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. Copy this as code. Create another solid color. We are going to hide this layer for now. Create a new layer with a soft time brush. Opacity is set to 100, flow is set to 100, foreground is set to this hair code. We hit OK. Increase brush with the right bracket key and we are going to click once. With the layer in place, we are going to press Ctrl J to make a copy. Set blend mode of the copy to overlay and reduce the opacity. Now let's grab our assets for this tutorial. Holding down the shift key on the keyboard, we are going to select all these layers and copy all of them together. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. Now we are just going to hide these layers. We position this right here, Ctrl A, and we are going to align that Ctrl D to the select. Now we are going to review this layer with the mask selected. You grab the gradient tool. And we are just going to drag this way to erase. With the soft time brush B for brush. We are going to reduce the opacity. Right click and change roundness of the brush. For when it's set to black and we are going to mask it down. So we are just going to make some few clicks and mask it out. We are going to create a curves adjustment layer right above all layers. Create another curves adjustment layer. With the layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. With the match selected, control I to invert. With a soft time brush, we are going to reduce the opacity. For when it's set to white, we are going to paint some back. With this layer selected, we are going to create a curves adjustment layer clipped right onto the layer. 
so they first apply solar to the layer. Now we can review this layer now. With the layer selected, we are going to create a mount. So the mount selected, you grab the brush tool. Opacity is set to 100, flow is set to 100, hardness is set to 100. We are going to set foreground to black. And we are just going to mask out the portion right here by brushing just this way. Now we do the same for the beach ball and the others. With the layer selected, we create a mask with the mask selected. With a hard round brush, we set foreground to black and we are just going to mask it. With this layer selected, we are going to create a mask with the mask selected. We zoom in and we are going to grab any selection to reduce the opacity. So we grab the polygonal also too. And we are just going to create a selection this way. Once you have a selection, we right click. And we are going to fill that with a background color. Our background color is set to black. Anything in black is sitting. Control D to the select. Create a curves adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. With this layer selected, we are going to be painting some shadows now. So we create an exposure adjustment layer. Clipped right onto the layer. With the mask selected, Control I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to reduce the opacity. Foreground is set to white. Right click and set hardness to zero. Increase the brush size, and we are going to be painting some shadows. With another exposure adjustment layer. This is for highlight with the mask selected control R to invert with a soft hand brush. Increase the opacity a bit, foreground instead of white, and we're going to paint some highlight. It's basically the same technique. You create an exposure adjustment layer. With the mask selected, you are going to invert that by pressing Ctrl R. With the soft hand brush, you set foreground to white and you are going to paint shadows or highlights. Now we are going to select the Nivea product. 
Now select the mask of the Nivea product. Grab this brush right there. Foreground is set to black and we'll start maxing. So we just want to create some sandy particles just around the product this way. With this layer selected, we are going to paint some shadows. You create an exposure adjustment layer, invert the mask, and you start painting. You set foreground to white and you paint. With this layer selected, we are going to apply drop shadow to that. So we go for blending option, we select drop shadow. Once that is in place, we close it up and we create layers. So we are separating the shadow onto a new layer. Now right click and convert the shadow layer into a smart object. And we are going to distort that a bit. With the layer selected, we are going to apply that chamber. We set radius to 7 and we hit OK. Now reduce the opacity. Now we are going to start painting some shadows. Right here, we are going to create a new layer with a soft tone brush. Right click and change roundness and angle a bit. Four one is set to black. Change the angle a bit. Then we are going to paint some shadows. Ctrl T, we are going to transform that a bit. Reduce the opacity. With the last selected, we are going to create a mask. With the brush tool, we are going to set foreground to black and we are just going to stand masking in that. With this layer selected, we are going to create a new layer right here with a soft time brush. Right click and change angle and roundness of the brush a bit, then we are going to step into some shadows.
Once you have everything in place, you are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object. Then we go for camera or so photo, camera or filter. All we have to do is we are going to play with the camera roll settings until we like the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. Camera roll is like the icing on the cake. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.